Hi, it's Deb Watson, and I'm going to show you how to paint a barn in watercolor. And then instead of trying to mix it with my brush, I'm going to tilt, tilt, tilt. That lets the colors blend on the paper and it will give you a really nice sky. Then you need to dry it. Next I'll do the faraway hills with the cerulean blue plus the yellow. I'm going to wet those first also. And I'm actually wetting all the way down so I don't get hard edges. So I add a little more of just the blue to push it farther back and dry that. Now for the next layer that's still pretty far away, I added just a touch of the phthalo green, the phthalo blue plus yellow. And I'm leaving some space by the barn to put a golden tree. So the far away trees go on either side of this other tree mass. This is the same green and then I use a paper towel to kind of get that one farther away and dry the whole thing again. Now for this tree I want it really dark so where I want it black I'm just putting red. And then I'll put the dark green right in with it and let it mix on the paper. And now I'm going to use a piece of natural sponge to get some better edges. You really can't beat a sponge for foliage edges. My red wasn't blending as well as I'd like, so I added some more dark green. And here's some brighter green with more yellow. I'm using masking tape on the barn and ripping it to the size I want by use holding a razor blade against the edge. That way I'll be able to sponge around the barn and still keep the roof line crisp and clean. And this is my burnt sienna plus yellow. Or if you wanted it brighter, you could do red and yellow also. See what nice edges that leaves? While it's still wet, I'm drawing in where I want my bare tree limbs to go. For the foreground, I'm putting a little bit of the yellow and burnt sienna down first in a very watery wash and some of my dark green mix, very watery, to blend into it. I want it darker under the tree on the shaded side of the barn. So I get some of my darker green and then just pull that forward into the other color. And I sponge some of the yellow gold, the yellow and burnt sienna right into that. And then I start sponging some of this tree.
and I try to sponge in some darker values, but it's still too wet and they're tending to dissolve, so I decided to just leave it for now. For the other side, I'm starting with a little bit darker green. And by now, all my greens have gotten mixed together. And I come back with some yellow to put some nice sunshine right over in this corner. And since I want both sides to match, I add more yellow to the other side also. And then I put even more yellow, kind of leading you up to the barn. Now the tree that's behind this big dark mass, I'm gonna sponge a little bit of value onto that also. And I think now I can add my shadows. Now to paint your red barn, you could make it all red, but you're going to probably want to add some other colors. And some good choices are burnt sienna, or burnt sienna plus yellow, and or a little bit of the blue-gray. Here's the yellow. You can mix and match, but it'll give you an old-looking barn. For the barn, I'm going to leave a piece of white trim between the light and the dark side. I do some red, some gold, and some gray. And then because I'm leaving that white trim between there, I can take my dark red. I made the red dark by adding some of the dark green. I paint around the sponged limb and then put some of the gray at the bottom. Now that this side's dry, I can sponge in some of that foliage that grows up around the fence posts. And I'm using my gold, my brown and my yellow, and some green. For the road, I'm starting with the gray. That's the blue and the brown. I want it lighter as it disappears around the corner. And then I put some of my gold the burnt sienna and yellow right into that. So I mix the warm and the cool on the paper. And I come back with a little more shading because there'd be a hint of a shadow on this side. The fence post I'm going to make gray, dark gray on the left side and I'll leave them light on the right side. Now that the tree is dry, I come back with some of my blue, the cerulean blue, to fill in the holes. And I suggest a really far away tree trunk. And then use that same color to put some grasses poking up out of the foliage. I tone down the white door and give the barn a little more detail. Try not to overdo the detail in a barn that's far away. Just suggest it. This barn, I'm having trouble getting that roof straight. But I paint it red, and then I come in with red and dark green right under the eave. For the tree trunk, I'm starting with some brown and then I'm gonna make it darker on the left side. I 
I want the tree trunk to peek through some of these leaves, but I don't want it too dark. So I dab some of it back up with the paper towel. My road kind of faded out, so I make it a little bit darker and just soften some of the edges. I want it darker as it goes to the edge of the paper. And I suggest some detail on the barns, on the barn roofs. And last, I've got my opaque white and I'm putting some Queen Anne's lace growing alongside the fence. This little barn scene was fun to paint. I did it for my classes, so I did it several times. And each time I paint something, I change something or add something and see which I like the best. Here it is with sponging, which I really liked. Here's an earlier version without sponging. And so I hope you have time to give this a try. You can find the downloads and more information in the links below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like more tips and I hope your barn turns out terrific. Happy painting!